Lucas Media. So we got a breaking news that is President Joe Biden is officially dropping out of the race. Basically, I'm not going to read all, I'm paraphrasing it, but he pretty much said, as y'all can see, that he is, you know, he's going to do what's best for the country and let somebody else run. Now, I don't see who he's exactly endorsing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see who he's endorsing. People were saying he might not necessarily endorse vice president harris he really just needed her for the votes but i mean listen when he did that debate against trump that that ended it honestly that was it you've been seeing rumblings about joe biden's health for a while but then you got a lot of his democrat party members turning against him or wanting him to step out and you know donald trump by uh, his vice president pick uh, jd vance come from a military background came from humble beginnings single single parent household End up going to Ohio State, then I believe Yale Law, served in the military, and uh, know he made a lot of money in Silicon Valley, so he had the perfect story for everybody else. I'm going to be honest, I think people are just flat out tired of Biden and the administration, especially when you've seen President Trump and what he did for his supporters. You know, Joe Biden, a lot of the Democrats, run, they run the same play. I keep saying this all the time. Like they run a Statue of Liberty play, even though nobody's ran it, God knows how long, they still run the same play. And I think people are just getting tired of that. And like I said, Trump with his vice president pick, I mean, it's, it's a slam dunk. It's pretty much over. Unless the Democrats, unless Michelle Obama or somebody else who can rally the people really quickly do it, it's over. It's over. And I think I think a lot of people are, are tired of how this country was ran. And not just from an economic standpoint, but from a, uh, we became a sensitive country. When I was growing up, a lot of I was growing up, you could say what you want and not worry about hurting nobody's feelings or any, now you got it. Like you, you can't even crack jokes no more on each other without you having to go on an apology tour. And it's just a lot, it's a lot going on with sports that, that people don't really want to talk about. It's a lot going on with a lot of different things. And I think people are just tired of it. And now you've even seen a lot of brothers and sisters are now, they're starting to side with the Trump side, you know, and I'm an independent person i'm the hey I, i'm gonna vote for her i think it's gonna be best for us but i think people are are starting to realize i mean hey we say the republicans are one but with the democrats are the same way growing up in my household my father told me oh we democrat we democrats but when you look they don't really do a lot for us we get a lot of broken empty promises but every time somebody gets a, every time something happens to another culture they always get help always but when it comes to us you know you get to kick the can down the road. So I don't know what's going to happen, but it, I, at this moment, it might it might be a sweep. This sweep might be almost as great as when the Lakers went on a run. I think they only lost one game. Remember when they played in the playoffs up until Philly when they had Kobe and Shaq uh, against AI? I think they only lost one game that season, honestly. But, yeah, it's over. It's over. I mean, I, I don't know why they ran with Joe Biden anyway for the second turnaround. I think a lot of people was, was – had selfish intentions in mind but it is what it is but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it do y'all think somebody could come back and potentially pull this off i don't think so but let me know tell me what y'all think